Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we are going to be doing a cloning process due to the fact that the hard drive in this laptop is dying. So what we want to do is be able to clone our Windows and everything else from this hard drive to the next. So if you're going to be doing this process, one, make sure that this drive that you've purchased is one, I definitely suggest going solid state nowadays. Don't go with an old school drive. Next thing I'm going to recommend to you is make sure that the drive is bigger. I would suggest to do like a thousand terabyte if you can, or a terabyte, sorry, one terabyte hard drive, a thousand gigabyte at least. We are going to be doing a smaller drive because this is mainly a work laptop, so it doesn't really matter and we have a lot of extra storage that we plug into it. Um, if you aren't and you're just someone who's going to be gaming lots and have a bunch of games, get like a thousand gigs right away. So either way, let's get into this. Next thing you need is this cable. This cable is a 3.0 to SSD cable. Make sure it's that wide. If you get one that's a really small one, then it might just be an SSD cable and nothing will power it. This is not the cable that you're looking for. So after you have this cable, go and grab Partition Wizard. This is very important to have. This is so we can, one, write this drive, and two, so we can clone everything. So once you've downloaded it, go to the home user, just hit the free version, press download, follow all the blah -de blah steps, it's super easy. Everyone knows how to do that. You don't need to see how to do that. And then after you go ahead and you do it, we're gonna just type it in right here. We're gonna go to partition. There it is, mini tools partition wizard. Yes. And it's going to show up here in a second. Ta-da! So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you have copy partition, migrate OS, disk benchmarks, all that other fun stuff. Before we actually end up doing this, what I will suggest that you do before we press disk clone is if you have just unwrapped a brand new hard drive, it's never been partitioned before, what you might wanna do is actually come over to here, we're gonna open up this disk, then we're gonna hit this PC, and if you don't see your new disk right here, as you can see, this one's just a 232, make sure one, you have enough room, as you can see, if I go to properties, this says that I need a 157 gig hard drive, this is a 232, we have 80 gigs buffer. Do not go within 50 gigs, nothing whatsoever, otherwise it could slow the drive down. So once we've gone through, we've made sure we have enough space, we're good. Now if you don't see your drive here, I suggest going down to search right here and put in disk management or disk, let's see, uh, management. Here we go, create and format hard drive partitions. This is part built into your PC. If we shrink this, you would see your secondary drive here. It would not exist yet. So what you'd have to do is right click and you would hit uh, to partition it. It would just say it right here when you click on it, if it's an unpartitioned value. And then go ahead and partition it just by pressing partition. Leave it as NTFS and you can leave it as whichever way you want to go with it. Just leave it there so that way it shows up and your computer will read it. After we've done that, we can go back to, we'll close this one, go back to this one, and then we'll go to disk clone. And then after we've hit disk clone, press next. Welcome to the wizard. What one do you want to copy? Well, this big disk is the one with everything on it. So we're gonna take it from here. We're gonna hit next. And then it's gonna ask you, what is the targeted disk? What do you want to copy it to? We wanna do it to the SSD, so we'll hit the secondary one. Next, all data will be destroyed. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, we know it's an empty drive, so yes. It's saying right now, change partition size. We're not gonna bother changing any of this. We don't wanna change any of the partition sizes. So we're just gonna click on the big one right here, 232, Acer, and we're gonna hit next. 
one sec here. Now everything's good right here. It says, to boot from this new disk, please configure the computer BIOS settings. Make sure that the new disk is configured as a new default boot. So what we're gonna do is when we go to load it up, uh, once you go to restart your computer after we're done, you'll hit that F1 key. So that way it pops up and we'll switch the boot device. And that way we know it's gonna boot from that drive. After we know it'll boot from that drive, we'll remove the other one, put the new one in, and then see if it does everything it should. So let's hit finish. So as you can see, it's copied everything onto this other drive already. I'm just gonna take a look here. Apply. After you've hit, got it all ready, you can see it. Hit yes, and you can see it's gonna start writing. Just let it start doing everything it's got to do. Might take a little while. So taking a look at this, what happened is it popped up saying, would you like to restart since it's seen that programs are still running for C? And of course there is because C is your main drive. So you just hit restart, let it restart. When it does, it boots up automatically into this launcher and it starts it. So don't be scared when this pops up. Just let it do its thing, leave your computer alone. Depending on how fast or how big your C drive is, this could take overnight. But for us, it's already at 36%. I'll let you know how far it is and how long it is when it's done. Once your PC is done its thing, if you come back to it like I did, and it's gone back to the start, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually click Windows. We're gonna press Restart. As your computer is restarting, just let it do its thing, it might take a little while. But when it turns off and it turns back on, that's when you're gonna start hitting. So after you've restarted, hit escape as fast as you can. So that way it goes into this command prompt and then you're gonna see troubleshoot your PC. After you do that, advanced options. And then you're going to be able to hit UEFI settings restart if yours goes right into BIOS suite some do some don't so you might have to do that the other way of doing it is by hitting start and then going to security and then recovery and then you'll see uh, restart under recovery you would hit that and then it should pop up with that UFI or whatever settings as well. So the next thing is you're gonna see boot and we're gonna switch boot order. You're gonna see Windows boot from there and then this one right here, which is a USB. Which is right here. And we're gonna want it to do from that. So if we select enter on that, let's see if it does it. Select item. see if we can make that one our default. If you hit F6, you'll see it go number one priority will become your USB. After that, you wanna save and exit, hit F10. Yes. And then now it's gonna restart. We're gonna see if it restarts from this USB. If it restarts from the USB, we're doing good. After it's restarted, go to power, shut it down. Wait for it, there it is. And then we'll hit power. <laughs> this one's extremely slow right now. But after you do that, just shut it down. After it's completely shut down, make sure it's completely shut down. Then we will be closing our laptop, flipping it over, and swapping out the drive. As you can see, this one is probably our hard drive, and this one's our RAM. Usually the RAM's a little bit smaller, but let's go into here. 
you just need your Phillips. After you do that, you should be able to just pop this up with my nail if I'm lucky. If not, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this old drive. So, next thing is you'll see a couple screws right here. Just grab it, loosen it. Put them off to the side. After you do that, you should be able to lift it a little bit right here. This could be fun too. Oh, we have one more right there and one more right here. Look at that. They really put this one in. The gaming line series. Ooh, that one is a little tighter. After that one's out, now we should be a little bit looser. So now, without ripping on it, you'll see it's on a ribbon cable. We're slowly just going to work this out. Just grab right onto the piece of plastic and work it out just like our other one. There we go. Just give it a wiggle. Perfect. Slides right out. And then take your SSD that we just formatted. So you can see that's just a WD right here. And we'll put it in the other by slipping it in. Now, if it has, you can see it has screw holes like that. You have screw holes on the sides like this. You can just unscrew this from right here, unscrewing those same screws from there, sliding in the new drive. Putting it on here so you can bolt in that one. So give me one sec. You see the screws on the side? Just grab them, undo them out. Note the orientation. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I've already got the other two screws off on the side. I'm just showing you how we remove them from the side. So now that we've removed those from the side, you'll see that. If, once you do this side too, do the exact same thing. We're going to lift these clips off like so. So it's a strap. So you see how this is? We're going to lift it out of here. Put this off to the side. Grab our new one like so. And again, that was like this, just noting our orientation. So that way we know for when we go to put our clip in. So we know that this has to go down like this. Perfect. Once you've slipped it in like that, well look, it lines up. So next thing to do is just take your screwdriver and put the screws back in those holes. You'll see gold pins are up, the mounting points are up. Once you do that, you should be able to grab it just like this. Again, not putting too much pressure on that ribbon cable because the last thing you want to do is break it. 
we'll just slip it right into there. And if you want to, just for testing purposes, all you gotta do is put in two of these screws because it is a solid state. Technically, you could just flip this around. I'm just saying, just for testing purposes, I'm just going to put in two of the screws, one right here and then one diagonally across. Right there. I'm just gonna grab it. Flip it back over, start it up. We'll see if we get Acer. Oh, there's Acer right away. It's booting. Boom, and we're in. Way, way, way quicker than your regular old drive. I'm telling you, this thing's already booted. This was taking close to five minute boot up times. We're fully booted. Like, it's just done. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This is why solid state is a must in today's day and age. Remember how I went to hit power before and restart? Take a look at this. Boom, it's already ready to go. So if you're wondering, should I do this? Yes, yes you should. Get rid of this as quick as you can. If you buy a new laptop and it does not have SSD, not a big deal, go buy one. They're cheap, they're easy, mirror the system once you set it up. It's best to do it when you first buy it, but yeah, literally everything, it's already fully loaded. It's awesome. Okay, thanks again for watching. I hope this helped you out. Press like if it did, subscribe for more.